The Hope Diamond was formed deep within the Earth approximately 1.1 billion years ago and is a shining example of how carbon atoms form strong bonds when put under extreme pressure. We are now under the same pressure as we were able to track this diamond to at least 23 different owners, referred to as a Golconda diamond. The first record of it begins in 1666, when Jean Baptiste Tavernier purchases it in India while in uncut form. After cutting the gem, he named it La Bleue de France, or the French Blue. Tavernier then sold the gem to King Louis XIV of France in 1668. After passing down for generations, Louis XV, Louis XIV's great-grandson, had the gem set into a more elaborate jeweled pendant for the Order of the Golden Fleece in 1749. The piece was no longer in use after Louis XV's death. Diamond became the property of his grandson, Louis XVI, and his wife, Marie Antoinette. The French blue remained in the pendant, except for a brief time in 1787, when the stone was removed for scientific study. Between 1775 and 1792, the stone was stolen three separate times. The last was on September 11th, 1792, where Louis XVI and his family were imprisoned. A group of thieves broke into the royal storehouse and stole most of the crown jewels over a five-day looting spree. Most of the jewels were recovered, including pieces of the Order of the Golden Fleece, but the French Blue was not among them. Meanwhile, in London, in September of 1812, a blue diamond was recorded by Jean Francion as in the possession of a diamond merchant named Daniel Eliasson just days after the 20-year statute of limitations for the theft of the gem had expired. While in the UK, a source at the Smithsonian suggests that King George IV owned the gem until his death in 1830. After that death, the blue diamond was either stolen by George's last mistress, Elizabeth Cunningham, or it was sold to cover his debts. Either way, the British royal family was not able to retain the diamond. Sometime between 1830 and 1839, the stone had passed to Henry Philip Hope. It was here that the stone received the name, the Hope Diamond. His death in 1839 passed the stone to Henry Thomas Hope, and he kept it until 1861. The Hope Diamond continued to pass from owner to owner for the next 87 years. The Duke of Newcastle in 1861, Sultan Abdul Hamid in 1908, and Pierre Cartier in 1910 are just a few examples. All in all, there were 10 separate owners from a time before the Civil War started to after World War II ended. The last private owner was Henry Winston, an American jeweler who bought the stone in 1949 from the estate of mining heiress Evelyn Walsh McLean. After touring with the item for several years, Winston donated it to the Smithsonian Museum, where it remains in permanent exhibition to this date. Now that we have looked into the history of this diamond, it is time to find out if it is truly cursed, or if we just hope it is.